What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on videos. I wanted to make this quick video and talk about what do successful Amazon sellers do that non-successful sellers you know, do? So what is the difference between a successful seller and a not successful seller and all the things that they do along the way? So the very first thing I wanna talk about is the amount of knowledge they have, okay? So when you're brand new to Amazon, and you know what, this happens to everybody, right? Everybody's brand new at some point. When you're brand new to Amazon, you, you just don't know nearly as much as a successful Amazon seller does. You know, they might be hundreds of products into it or tens of products into it. They've had successful products. They've had non-successful products. They kind of know what works and what doesn't. So when you're on your first product, what do you do? The only thing I can suggest you do is to learn as much as possible. And that is the best thing about this business. Let me turn over here. This is my wife, Laurel. And this is my one-year-old son, Julian. Hi, Julian. That's the, the best thing about Amazon business is that, you know, I work from home. Obviously, I make enough to work from home, pay all my bills, all that good stuff, you know. But even if you don't work from home, you know, it gives you the freedom to create a business where you can make extra money from home. You know, a lot of businesses, you can't do that. You need a storefront, you know, you need employees, all that good stuff. So going back to the knowledge thing, when you're new, learn as much as you can. You know, on this YouTube channel, I try to give out as much, you know, valuable information as possible. I try to help as many people as possible. Same thing with our Facebook group. People are in there asking questions every day. You know, so the first thing to do is to learn as much as possible because there's, you know, I see posts all the time, people about, you know, they're shipping to Amazon and they'll say something like, Amazon charged me a $700 placement fee, okay? And 99% of the time, you don't need to pay the Amazon placement fee for your inventory. So, you know, it's, it's too late because they've already done that. But why did that happen? It happened because they just didn't have the knowledge. They, did, they just didn't know. Okay, if they had known that they didn't need to put on that placement fee, and this is just one example, right? If they had known, they would have saved themselves 700 bucks, right? And that's just one thing. So what is the next thing that successful sellers do that non-successful sellers don't do? And that is product research, and that's how they do their product research, okay? They know what makes a successful product or a really high chance at a successful product, okay? The other thing I need to say is that when even successful sellers, when they launch products, not every product turns out to be a winner. Okay, so the more knowledge you get, the better off, the higher your chance of, you know, having a winner, okay? Here's the thing is that if, if I launch 10 products, okay, I may have like say, let's just say seven of them turned out to be successful, okay? 70%, that's really good. But when I first started Amazon, you know, my, my success chances were a lot lower. That's what, you know, people don't understand. And a lot of people are unwilling to launch their product. So that's the next thing I'm gonna talk about is that a successful seller always, always, always launches and advertises their product, okay? What do I mean by that? So a lot of people are unwilling to advertise when they first start off, okay? So they'll have a new product and I'll see a post or I'll see them saying or they're asking me a question or something like this and they'll be like, you know, my A cost for my PPC is 100%. If you don't know what that means, it means that they're spending uh, $50, let's say they have a $50 product, they're spending $50 advertising to sell a $50 product. And, and they'll be like, you know, I'm one week into it. My A cost is 100%. What do I do? Should I liquidate this product? And, you know, the, the, the mindset of a successful seller is so much different because they're thinking, I'm one week into this. I have no reviews. I'm just launching. Really, it doesn't even matter what my A cost is at this point because at this point, I'm just trying to rank. I'm just trying to get sales. I'm just trying to get it moving where the unsuccessful seller is worried about, you know, their return on investment, their profit, 
all in like the first week, even the first month, they're worried about making back profit, their PPC being successful, all those things. Those things don't really happen in the first week or even really in the first month. Okay, and that's the difference. You know, a successful seller is going to have an advertising budget. They're going to run PPC. They're going to run PPC aggressively or they're going to launch. You know, giveaways have come under a lot of scrutiny lately, but you know, those have worked for years. In the past, people would give away hundreds and hundreds of units, but they'd get to page one for two, three, four keywords and they would stay there. Okay, they would stay there forever, you know, or for a long time. You know, but the thing about that is that it's very costly, okay? Even with PPC at the beginning, you know, you may have zero reviews or one review or two reviews and your PPC is just not gonna convert that well, okay? So even if you're showing at the top of page one for your pay-per-click, you know, that does not mean that everybody's going to click on your ad and buy it, okay? So some people will, but as you become more knowledgeable, you'll kind of learn that it doesn't always convert super great out the gate, okay? The next thing you should think about too is successful sellers are used to perfectly optimizing a listing and having really great pictures, okay? So when you go to look at their listing, it just looks like a top-notch company listing, okay? It looks like, you know, what these pictures are on point. They'll have seven or eight pictures. They'll have at least half of them photoshopped. Everything looks clean and crisp, okay? And their listing is optimized so well that, you know, it's gonna index them for a whole bunch of keywords, keywords that like new sellers might not even have even thought about, okay? It's just because they've been around the block and they've done this once or twice, okay? So how do you, how do you fix that, right? So there's a learning curve when you're first starting, okay? And the more knowledge that you consume, the more videos you watch, the more information you read about, it will lower your learning curve, okay? So your, for your learning curve at the be beginning could be a couple months, but the amount that you learn in the first couple months is gonna vary because, you know, there, there's people out there that are, have been selling for a year or two and don't know half the things that somebody who is selling for six months could know. Okay, so it all depends on how much effort you put into it. Okay, the great thing about Amazon, Amazon business is it's your own business. Okay, if you work really hard, it's going to only help you. And here's the, the best thing about working hard on Amazon is you don't have to be out here landscaping. By the way, if, you, if anybody wants to come landscape for me, I could, I could use a landscaper right now. Um, but you don't have to work hard. You don't have to break your back. You know, you're not out there sweating. You're not out there at another person's office until six o'clock at night. And by the time you get home at seven o'clock and your kids are going to bed, you're working for yourself, okay? And you're working at home. You know, it's, it's all, it, all it requires is your mind and you know, whatever your startup investment costs is. So that is the, one of the best things about Amazon is it gives you the freedom to do that, okay? so. Even if your freedom right now consists of working at another job and having your Amazon business, that's still an amazing choice, okay? A lot of not, you know, if you go back to like my parents' days, you know, they didn't have the choice of doing that, right? They had to work a nine to five job. They didn't have the choice of when they came home at night to start a business at eight o'clock at night or nine o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night. There was no internet. This wasn't even an opportunity, okay? The opportunity that exists nowadays for everybody, especially with Amazon being such a large company and everybody wanting to order products on Amazon, the opportunity is absolutely amazing. You know, people don't, people don't realize that, you know? Young kids that are coming out the gate that are like 18 now, 20 now, have got it absolutely made. You know, when I was 18, the internet was like still pretty new. You know, I'm 38 now. So that was 20 years ago. 20 years ago, Amazon didn't even exist. And if they did, nobody, nobody had heard of them. They was just, you know, Jeff Bezos working in his garage. So the last and final thing I wanna talk about with successful sellers is that they know how to get reviews, okay? Um, 
there, there's so many different methods, okay? Watch my re review video. I'm sure if you're not new to this channel, you've seen it. But, you know, seasoned sellers, they get reviews just easily, right? They, they have their methods down. They know what they're doing. When they launch our product, they get their first review, their second review, their third their review. And you know, when you look back a couple months from now, six months from now, they probably have over 100 reviews already in six months, okay? Where the opposite happens, I see people like this all the time. Literally, I see posts like this almost every single day where somebody says, I have 350 total sales and I have zero reviews. <laughs> And then somebody will, somebody will reply and comment and they'll say, oh yeah, you know, reviews will eventually come, but you know, I got my first review after a couple hundred sales. And the reality of it is, is that a seasoned seller, that wouldn't have happened to. And people don't want to buy products with zero reviews. They don't want to buy products with, with one review or two reviews even. They, they just don't, okay? So it's like when, when, you, when there's two products next to each other and one of them has 50 reviews or 100 reviews and the guy next to him has two reviews nine times out of ten the person is going to choose the product with 50 reviews or 100 reviews unless the other product is better or cheaper okay if the other product offers more value then people will choose the product with lower reviews and I'm, I'm not talking about lower reviews I'm talking about like really low reviews okay when you have one or two or three reviews that's like scary to people, okay? They don't, you know, unless it's like a, maybe a 15, 10, $15 product, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it's $10, I like it, I'll just buy it. But once you start to get into like, you know, $30 products, $40, $50 products for sure, nobody's, people don't wanna buy a $50 product on something that has two reviews, okay? It's just scary to them, they think they're gonna lose their money and it, it, people just don't like it. So. A seasoned seller is going to get their reviews much, much faster, but still in a safe way. They kind of, they have figured out how to do it. So, you know, again, thanks for being in the channel. I have, hope I have helped you guys along the way. Um, you know, I got a whole bunch of videos and I'm gonna link some right here for you that you can watch about reviews and some other things. Um, but just remember the entrepreneur mindset, okay? You gotta be willing to learn the more you learn, the better your chances of success, okay? Amazon is just a learning game, it's just a mind game. You just have to figure out what the, p the key to the puzzle is, why other people are so successful at Amazon. And once you figure that out, you know, you can do it too. So here's a couple more videos I'm gonna link for you guys. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.